Zika virus. Boston reporting its first case of the disease. Now more than 30 cases detected here in the U.S. And take a look at this map. You see the outbreak originating in South America and moving north. ABC's Dr. Richard Besser is at ground zero this morning in Brazil to answer some important questions. Good morning, Rich. Good morning, Robin. You know, when you walk around the streets of Rio, you don't get any sense that there's something going on here of such big health concern. But when you talk to pregnant women, you get a very different picture. We came to Brazil, the center of the Zika epidemic. The government here spraying the streets. We met Fabiola, a physical therapist. She was already expecting when some said not to get pregnant. She tells me through a translator she knows Zika is linked to babies with tiny heads and brains. So she is spending her paychecks on insect repellents. The level of alarm is extremely high. The World Health Organization said it's pulling together an emergency response committee, saying the Zika virus is, quote, spreading explosively. So far in the U.S., there are more than 30 cases detected in 11 states in the District of Columbia, all brought back from travel abroad. Zika is a relatively inconsequential virus for the general population, but if you're a pregnant woman who gets exposed, it's a big deal. So, Rich, if somebody comes back to the U.S. with that virus, is there potential that they could spread it to others? That's a big concern, Robin, because if, if someone is infected and comes back to the United States and is bit by a mosquito, that mosquito can bite other people and be infected. So if you come back and have any symptoms, you need to be seen and you definitely need to use repellent. And Rich, as you alluded to earlier, a lot of concern about pregnant women and, and, and wanting to know how long does a virus stay in the system and could it possibly affect future pregnancies? Well, you know, there are a number of unanswered questions, but when they look at similar viruses, similar to the Zika, they find that once a person is recovered, when their symptoms are gone, the virus is no longer in their body. So they don't think future pregnancies will be at any risk at all. And, but Rich, we've heard a report that there is a pregnant woman here in New York City with the virus. What precautions should she be taking? Well, you know, thankfully, there's no mosquito activity in New York City at this time, so she shouldn't be putting other people at risk. But they're going to monitor her developing baby to see if the baby's been affected. And once that baby's born, they'll be doing hearing tests, vision tests to see whether the baby's been damaged. At this point, we don't know how big the risk is to that baby. We hope all goes well for mother and baby. All right, Rich, be safe coming back from Brazil. Thank you. For full coverage and the latest updates on the Zika virus, you can go to GoodMorningAmerica.com on Yahoo.